Shall we begin? I'd like to think I'm a pretty light guy. Turn off the computer now! Get down, boy! These jaguars on crystal meth? Yay! A what? There is something wrong. Hello, hello, hello. And welcome to your bi-weekly episode of Futon Talks. Wow. I am your host, Christopher Mindling, joined as always by my good and best friend, Josh Castro. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, especially now that I'm both good and best. Yeah. We skipped great and we're all the way up to the top. <laughs> no better. I like that. Thank you, my friend. Don't get used to it. You might lose it. Oh, my gosh. It's hard to be at the top. I'll tell you. It's yeah. hard to be a, you know, at the top of life. Indeed. But as you know, we're doing a little, a little experiment, a little would you rather episode. Something that we might do frequently, maybe once a year, whenever we have nothing else to say. Once a day. When we're not ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but I think we just get into it. Heck yeah, baby. I got some would you rathers. I got some write-ins. Oh, we got write-ins? Yeah. Dang. Now, people people are writing in would you rathers before they know we do a show about would you rathers. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Um, actually, I went on to Instagram and got a few people, so Hello. thank you everyone who responded. Um, but the first one we got is, would you rather be damned to hell or subscribe to Futon Talks? Dang. You know, I think that's a good one because it's real. Yeah. Because if you do not subscribe to Futon Talks, I mean... It's going to happen. You're pretty much moving into Satan's bedroom immediately, so... yeah. You, you you made your bed, now you're going to lay in it forever. Yeah, that's right. You got to sleep in it, man. I mean, yeah. if it were up to me, I think I'd rather not suffer for eternity. I'd rather have joy and, and subscribe to Futon Talks. I agree. I would definitely want to join Peanut Gallery 4 and Randy Leahy and join our Patreons. I mean, who wouldn't want to be with John Cody and Emmett? Some good guys there. The best guys ever. They're better than Satan. That's right. <laughs> All right. Let's get into good... the real ones. Hmm. I got a good quick one. I like it. It's from our good friend, uh, Brad. Oh, Brad. I'm not, I, don't, I don't think I, sh I should say their last names, but you know who you are. That's wise. <laughs> Would you rather live or die? This is just the same question. I'm just kidding. Um... <laughs> it's pretty close. I uh, I enjoy living. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like you you've got to have some sort of case for death, though. Mm. Would you rather live or die? I'm I'm gonna go live, but dying is uh, <laughs> attractive sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> if you die, you don't have to live. So yeah, you're right. Well, there you go. You don't have to pay taxes when you're dead. That's true. There are some some big benefits. I mean. <laughs> think about it <laughs> this is the thing if you die and you're at a point in your life like we are it's like people will remember you pretty fondly because mm -hmm. we're working hard that's a good way to go out you know they're like yeah. oh and here's the thing we haven't done the hardest parts of life yet you know yeah like we haven't had kids we haven't i haven't like gone on to graduate school i haven't had to have like a job with my degree you haven't gone mm -hmm. on to own Rayleigh's. Our podcast hasn't like taken off. So like they can be like they were prodigies on their way to greatness. And we don't have yeah. to actually achieve the greatness. We just kind of get it through death. I like that. That was a very good answer. Yeah, I changed my answer. I'd, I'd like to die, please. <laughs> what death, please? <laughs> All right. We got another good one who actually made it to the thumbnail of the episode. By uh, our good old friend Megan. Ooh. Now she says, would you rather have Cheeto dust on your fingers or permanent Oreo teeth? So both of them are perpetual, like forever or forever Cheeto dust on your fingers or forever Oreo teeth. I, I feel like a fool. What, what's Oreo teeth? Like when you eat Oreos and you just got chocolate cookie in your teeth. It's never happened to me. It has. You just haven't looked in a mirror. Oh, like it's just the appearance. Like you don't feel it. 
I mean, you would feel it. It's cookie in your teeth. Man, I don't... I mean, I think of, like, the cake ones and how it feels like your bag... Or not your bag. Your mouth is coated with, like, plastic. Like, vacuum-sealed plastic all around Think of mouth. that, and then, like, when you smile, you have chocolate in between your teeth. Just Yeah. Mm. Definitely that. <laughs> but I agree. You know how horrible it would be to get Cheeto dust on everything? Everything. It would ruin your life. Yeah, it, it actually would. <laughs> like, I would have Cheeto dust on my You couldn't even be eyes. a janitor. That's true. You couldn't even be a janitor. I guess you can put gloves on. You can just wear gloves for the rest of your life. But think about it. Now, I've been a janitor, and I've worked a lot of jobs that require gloves all day. I've been a carpenter and stuff. Mm-hmm. Those gloves get very swampy. Yeah, they do. You're going to have Cheeto Cheeto sweat (laughs) running down your forearms. It's like Kraft mac and cheese in your gloves. (laughs) Yo, you could put some pasta in there and then lunch is Mm -hmm. ready Mm. by the time you get to to noon. It's it's a difficult one. It's a difficult one because (laughs) the feeling of sugar and stuff on your teeth is awful. That's true. I guess you just get used to it. Here, yeah, but here's the thing. You're right. I didn't even think about the logistic aspect. You would have the cookie on your teeth all the time, no matter how much you brush them. You're losing your teeth. You got to get implants. That's so maybe the Oreo is also good because eventually it'll be over. But you'll be out 120 grand. Hmm. And you won't have been able to get a good job because everyone's like, it's the Oreo teeth guy. Can't even brush his teeth. Yeah. It's... Breath is awful. He never smiles. Because you can't. <laughs> because you're just so ashamed. I wouldn't smile. Yeah. <laughs> oh my I don't gosh. need to smile. Yeah, man. That's kind of... They're both bad. But mm-hmm. Cheeto dust, that sucks. I couldn't do it. Yeah, it's it's too much. And And if we're talking about price here, everything you own would be ruined over time. Mm-hmm. Couldn't have a laptop. It, the entire thing would just be full of Cheeto dust. But you could wear gloves. Yeah, but like, have you tried to wear gloves on a computer? Uh, and like, what if you're on your phone? If you wear gloves, you can't even, like, the touch sensitivity doesn't work? You're right, you're right. You can't wear anything white. Nope. You can't have white shoes. All lights are gone. Everything. Even dark, so you can't wear anything. <laughs> you have to only wear orange. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. The implications... You, you would go. be that weird guy who lives in like the small town who only wears orange every day. That's right. You'd become a, a town legend. So, <laughs> a carny. <laughs> you could be a carny. Yeah, man. That's, that's not a good thing. With life. the Cheeto dust, you could make it a career. Oh, could you like You could you could live in the circus. The Cheeto dust. Oh. Yeah. Or yeah, you can be like, hey, I got infinite cheese on my fingers. <laughs> You season people. Yeah, you can work at a restaurant and like, do you? Would you like some Cheeto seasoning? And <laughs> would you like some some human MSG? <laughs> Just sprinkle it on their salad. <laughs> Tell me when to stop. <laughs> Just <laughs> shaking your hands over their food. Yeah, it's a really hard one, but I think uh, you gotta take the Oreo teeth. You have to. Yeah. Like, the Cheeto dust Sadly. is life ruining. <laughs> like oh my gosh mm-hmm. i hate having cheeto dust on my fingers for a moment let alone for my entire life mm-hmm. oh can you imagine sleeping and then waking up and everything's orange anyway yeah i can mm. that was a great question megan yeah. that was you've very thought good about this a painful okay. question <laughs> <laughs> all right we have another write-in would you rather oh this is from nat by the way thank you nat would you rather get shot non-lethally or lick a foot of asphalt? Lick? I think a this foot? one's easy, but I'm going to make it a little harder. It has to be like, let's say a gas station bathroom. Like old, like disgusting. Lick the floor? Lick the floor like, a, like 12 inches of floor. I'm licking it. Yeah. Here's Absolutely. The th- here's the thing, though. Would you rather Have lick you been... <laughs> freshly poured asphalt so it's still like hot and tarry or get shot oh. lethally? 
Because one's gross, but, I mean, I feel like hurting your tongue like that, that would suck. That would. It's probably permanent damage. Yeah, like, can you even, I mean, yeah, can you even taste after that? Can you even eat asphalt? (laughs) I hope someone's tried. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Sorry, I interrupted you. What were you going to say? I was going to ask, have you ever been shot? (laughs) sucks uh, i have licked a bathroom floor okay yeah no that sounds horrible getting yeah we have uh, we have a guy at work who i have witnessed lick the floor of the back room no yeah but why <laughs> what he was cleaning up the juice there was juice on the ground <laughs> dude what is going on at Rayleigh's? so if he can survive that i think you can survive a bathroom floor or asphalt is it like... <clears throat> but some asphalt has been pooed on and peed on. I mean, some bathroom floors have been pooed on. <laughs> Probably every bathroom floor. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Here's the thing. Also, it's gross, where am I getting but... shot? You said non-lethally. It's that... non-lethally, so I assume like you're getting graze in the arm. Just a little graze? Yeah. Because there are a lot of perks that come with getting shot. Disability. Disability? Uh, you're a hero. <laughs> Immediately. Immediately, yeah. You're immediately a hero. <laughs> Have you ever um you ever seen Night and Day with Tom Cruise? Oh, isn't that with uh Cameron Diaz? Yeah, with Cameron Diaz. No, I haven't, but I've seen the trailers. It's a personal favorite. It's not like a great movie, but it's funny and my wife and I watched it together a bunch. Um but that happens in the movie. Somebody gets shot and they're like lauded by San Diego as a whole as a hero for like the rest of their lives. <laughs> so there's some big upsides here i think i'd rather get shot like a little graze you mm-hmm. know, <clears throat> then I'm, I'm i mean i'm immortalized you don't have to work i don't have to work for at I, least a, at least a month at least a month i can definitely overhype month. how bad the injury is you know Mm-hmm. and i don't you have could to, like, like get infected or like dig into it a little bit <laughs> rub it on the bathroom floor <laughs> oh my gosh that's perfect it's disgusting (laughs) if i really wanted to sell out i could like be an advocate for like a political group and then then i'm supported the rest of my life i just ride that wave till i'm dead till i do get shot by the opposing side (laughs) there we go (laughs) Uh, i like it (laughs) yeah i think i'd get shot weirdly enough there's a lot of benefits to being shot. So, yeah, I'm taking the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't expect that, did you, Nat? But, uh, no. That's how Thank it is. you, Nat. Um, and then we have one more write-in from our very own John Medina, a patron. Oh, the boy himself, the man. Yes. The father. And he he has a, would you rather never have Thanksgiving or never have Christmas ever again? Ooh. This I think this one's easy for me. I think it, I think it is for me as well, but I like feel bad that it's easy. <laughs> you know what I mean? What Christmas has answer? to go. Christmas has to go. Yeah, I think so. That is the perfect Chris answer. I would say Thanksgiving <laughs> has to go. Because <laughs> mm. I feel like this is the thing. I feel like Thanksgiving, like. Christmas has elements of Thanksgiving that I really enjoy, like the giving thanks part. I feel like that's a big part of Christmas. Mm -hmm. But like Thanksgiving doesn't have a lot of the elements of Christmas that I like. Mm. They're both good. But if I had to choose one, it'd be Christmas because it has, it's like the more balanced holiday for me. You got to decorate. You don't have to. You got to get someone something. I love that. Or a lot of people something. Dude. (laughs) You have to receive things from people. Receiving things is fun. You have to wake up early. That's great. I always wake up early. (laughs) I don't know. Thanksgiving, you got the food. Same food. Same food in my house. Not the same. My dad makes a turkey Usually it's like ham. My dad gets a turkey and ham for both holidays. Uh, You're you're a very special person, apparently. It's a Castro tradition. (laughs) (laughs) Hmm. I think I I love Thanksgiving. I know. I like Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. Mashed potatoes. Don't get those at Christmas. Potatoes no. aren't around that month. 
they go extinct every December, man. Yeah, after Thanksgiving. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're they're pretty interchangeable. You're right. I like they're like I they're think... actually quite similar, and they're like same time of year almost. But I like the season of Thanksgiving a lot more. So like when Thanksgiving I goes, do does the entire season of fall leave as well? Yes. Sorry, Christmas. You gotta go. <laughs> We're celebrating. Yeah, Christmas weather usually sucks. Yeah, it's horrendous. Usually the worst. Even if it's good Christmas weather, it's still snowing. And that's no good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Fall weather, to me, is much better. Like, the aesthetic of fall I enjoy a lot more as well. I like the colors that go with yeah. Thanksgiving. Mm. Mm. Okay, how about this? Fourth of July... St. Patrick's Day. Oh, no, 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 no. Fourth of July or New Year's? Fourth of July. Same. Okay. I love Fourth of July. Me too. It's like one of my favorite holidays. For probably different Mm. reasons from you. For you, you probably... You break out your constitution. I read it. Read it ten times, you know. Mm Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. I know that's how you like to celebrate every day. I have a shot of Zions for every president. There you go. (laughs) (laughs) The good old stuff. Yeah. But uh, July Break out an old can. (laughs) (laughs) You almost die. Just like in the past, others died for our freedom. What's the worst holiday? The worst? It's Valentine's Day, right? Let me tell you what the worst holiday is, Chris. The worst Hmm. holiday is the one that you're not aware is occurring today. Juneteenth. It's America's newest holiday. It's a federal Why? holiday. I don't have school For today what? because of it. What is it? It's Juneteenth. Well, what What does that mean? No one knows. <laughs> they so here's the thing. They literally had an activity, not on Juneteenth, because it's a federal holiday, so they couldn't have an activity. But there's an activity at the school explaining what Juneteenth is, because no one knows what it is. So, I mean, that has to be the worst one. <laughs> No, nah, dude, I don't think you could say that. <laughs> oh, no. What is it? It's to commemorate the emancipation of enslaved people. What? No way. That's not what it is. <laughs> you, can't, you can't get rid of that one. I'm it's sorry. brand new. <laughs> we can't retroactively, like 150 years down the line, be like, you know what? Now's the. It was first celebrated in 1865. No, it wasn't. Of course. No, it wasn't. They didn't call it yeah, Juneteenth. They probably it called it Emancipation the... Day. <laughs> Celebrating the 1862 Emancipation Proclamation. No. If that's true, then why do none of us know what Juneteenth is? Because it's a stupid name. It means nothing. Why don't we just call it Emancipation Day? I don't know. Yeah, you can't get rid of that one. I'm for Emancipation Day. I'm not for Juneteenth. (laughs) That's all I did there. (laughs) Uh, Of all the holidays, you could say, let's get rid of it. (laughs) Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's... That's rough. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, no. Now I've lost my spot. Okay, I, there we go. I don't. I feel like Valentine's Day is kind of stressful, though. And meaningless. Yeah, it's the worst. But totally maybe, fabricated. Maybe we're bad partners. Maybe we should love Valentine's Day. No. An extra day mm-hmm. to express our love. Every day. Every day is the extra day. There is there is no fluctuation in my love. Yeah. <laughs> it is a pure constant high. Zach, actually, I uh, I celebrate Valentine's Day by not loving my wife. I like that. That whole it's, day. It's the only dip <laughs> the entire year. Oh my gosh. I feel like St. Patrick's Day is pretty pretty bad. Yeah, the food's never that great. The best you can corn do is beef corn, and cabbage. Corn, beef and cabbage. You need to stain right. my shirt with your purple cabbage. It's ridiculous. It's also like, yeah. is it a real, like, is that a thing in Ireland? St. Patrick's Day? I don't think so. Is it like a, so it's like a Cinco de Mayo deal where it's like. It might be, yeah. Where it's just like an American thing where we just are like, yeah, this is a holiday. <clears throat> How odd. Because we could get rid of Sorry? a couple of those. Oh, yeah, for sure. One question before I say anything else that's wrong. What's Flag Day about? Is that like a thing? Celebrate the flags. 
Just all of them? All, all flags. We celebrating like a special flag? The American flag? Because I feel like Okay, that. so it's the, ado- the celebrating the adoption of the Stars and Stripes. Oh, yeah, so get, yeah, we are celebrating our flag. We can get rid of that. Do we need a, a special day? I mean, we already have July 4th. And we have like President's yeah. Day. Those are both America holidays. Mm-hmm. I feel like Memorial the flags, Day. Flags are Veterans part of Day. Memorial Day, Veteran Day. Yeah. Probably Flag Day. That's probably the least important. How about the parent days, like Father's Day, which we just had yesterday, and yeah. Grandparents Day, Cousins Day, I th- Sibling Day. There's a Cousins Day. Is there? Does there need I'm to be sure. a Cousins Day? Is there a Half Siblings Day? I want one of those. <laughs> I feel like we could do with a we, single Parents Day. Well, I don't know. It is kind of nice to like have a time for your mom and for your dad. I think the the mom and dad days stay, but the rest go. I'm down with that. I don't need a special day to 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 love my sister. I love my sister. Yeah. But uh. But yeah, doesn't, she doesn't need a day. She, she already has a day. birthday. She already has a. That's she already has a birthday. That's right, Chris. I say we get rid of all holidays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's only birthdays. I like that. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, that's the way we should move as a country. Futon talks for president. I concur. Thank you, sir. All right, now we're into the ones that I've pulled from the internet. Actually, I haven't read any of these. I just found a big old list. That's the way to do it. That way you're not you're Now, not we can biased. do difficult ones or we can do funny ones. Ooh, let's do, let's do two of each. That way we have like or a gross an ones. Point. Ooh, maybe one gross, one difficult, and then two funny. Okay, let's do that. Let's do, let's start with the funny. Whoa! There we go. Lighten the mood. <laughs> all right, all right. Would you rather like? Would you rather talk like Yoda, or breathe like Vader for the rest of your life? Dude, I already <laughs> breathe like Vader. So <laughs> I was I gonna say, I already breathe like Vader. <laughs> I'm a total like mouth breather. Yeah. Whenever you and I play like a stressful game together, it's just like, <sighs> <laughs> and I feel so bad because I know it's like I'm horrible that way. All right. I'm I'm going to change this one a bit because it's kind of boring, but I'm going to spaz it up. Would you rather fight a hundred duck-sized elephants or one elephant-sized duck? Definitely a small army of uh, of elephants. I don't know. They can stampede you. <laughs> oh, dude. They'll take out your Achilles. I'll, I'm going to jump. Can you imagine fighting a, a duck the size of an elephant? What do you? Where do you even start? You know, their uh, beaks the feet. have like They little, got little feet, bro. But they have like razor teeth in their beaks. <laughs> dude, they, one bite, you're gone. It's the Callisto protocol. Your head is no more. <laughs> Plus, ducks are uh, terrifying. On their ducks own. are terrible. They'll spit at you. Oh, they hiss. Ducks are yeah. far scarier than elephants. <laughs> like, if I had to choose an actual elephant or an actual duck to kill me, I'd rather the elephant mm-hmm. do it. I think the elephants are going to take you down, though. That's okay. They have tender eyes. Okay, I won't. It yeah. won't hurt me as much because, like, if the ducks do it, though, like, I know they're they're sending me to hell. It's not the mm-hmm. same, you know. It's a different intent. But what about you? I think you're right. Oh, I don't know. I don't know because, like, I'm th- I'm thinking the elephants have tusks. Oh, you're so right. Gonna stampede at you and just cut you up. <laughs> I didn't even in my mind elephants don't have tusks. I don't, I don't know what's <laughs> wrong with me. It didn't even occur to me. And they'd be small, so they'd be like super sharp. They got like hypodermic <clears throat> needles on their faces. Oh, I don't know about that, but yeah. For they're sure. Like, they're much smaller. Yeah. It's like hay hooks coming at you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know how hay hooks work. You do. I know yeah. that. <laughs> mm, I think I think I'm going to go be like a caveman, take, it, take down the one giant duck. <laughs> I'll be famous for it. How would you do it? Spear, just in my underwear. 
Dude, just a spear. I like it. You could have had anything. You could have had a rocket launcher. You're going to use a spear. That's too easy. You want to savor it. It'll do ruin ducks, the meat. Do ducks have like... I mean, they must have like a so similar good. like similar vascular system. So, I mean, you could just slit its, uh, slit its little ducky ankles, you know? Yeah. You know it would be terrifying, though, if like it got in the water? Oh, dude, it'd be Resident Evil <laughs> 4. That's why you wanted this. <laughs> you're in there with your with your uh, spears throwing about the yeah. duck as it my del lago you. oh my gosh my duck lago it'd be del pato as it were oh that's the word okay pato 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 it's duck <laughs> would right. you rather fight an elephant sized duck or a mini cooper sized goose oh the duck goose are terrifying <laughs> yeah dude and I feel like or the geese. duck wouldn't wouldn't know what to do but the, the goose would know exactly It'll what know. to do. Yeah. You just leave it. It has that. a long neck. It'll just reach over from like across the yard and bite my head <laughs> off. You'd be dead Terrifying. before you knew it, man. They're already so fast. I'd be afraid to fight one that's goat. I Can mean, you imagine a two ton <laughs> goose running at you? <laughs> the crowd is shaking as it sprints <laughs> towards you. It's just Monster Hunter at that point. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's actually <clears> terrifying. All right. <laughs> Would you rather have a ba- baby vomit on you or you vomit on the baby? Oh. I mean, is it spit up or is it like vomit? It's vomit, like projectile. Hmm. Hmm. What have I eaten? The worst thing. Uh, the baby's Curry. got to. The baby's got to vomit on me. I mean, that baby's got to go. <laughs> it's not my baby. It's not my kid. I feel like that makes it worse. I'd rather vomit <laughs> on my baby than someone else's baby. I'm sorry. Walk up to a random couple, like logistically, you have to go to the mall to find a baby to vomit on. Mm-hmm. The How thing would you is, choose the baby? The... Sorry. How would you choose the baby? Like, what's your age cutoff for vomitable? This is newborn. This, they might die. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, let's say let's say two, like two. or one and a half, one and a half. I could vomit on a toddler if I was like in the mall and they were being annoying. Yeah. I could projectile vomit onto a toddler. I couldn't do a newborn. A newborn, that seems wrong. But like a that's toddler, too, that's too. They kind of yeah. deserve it, you know. We all did deserve it at one point. Mm-hmm. They threw up on their parents. The thing is, what if the baby baby vomits on you and then that makes you vomit on the baby? So then you you both lose. You know what? That's that's the point. That's the point. You're just protecting the baby at that point. Yeah. You don't want it to have to vomit. You'd rather it yeah. it's going to be vomited on no matter what. Yeah, it's probably going to vomit on itself that night. It does it all the time. <laughs> So why do two people need to vomit? <clears throat> Just vomit on the baby. I agree. All right, we we settled that one. <laughs> All right, I got one more. It's not a would you rather, but it is just a, a question. <sighs> hmm. Okay, you're in a coliseum. Oh no. With a hundred five year olds. How many do you think you can take down before they take you down? What's at stake? Here? Th- I, I thought about this a lot. So it's a sort a round coliseum. They are just the weight of a normal average five year old. Um, they're they uh they do get smarter as you fight them. They like, rapidly they will, gain intelligence. They will recognize and read your movements like Dark Souls. Oh my gosh. You have no weapons. Do they? No. That's good. I assume I, I have to do this. We're, that's that's an assumption that goes for all of these, of course. Because neither of us, you don't have to answer, would like to hurt babies. No. We, we never just, want to do we're that. being forced to vomit and uh, hurt them. Mm-hmm. So it's legally protected, I think. Yep. Um, I could kill all of them. <laughs> no I am with asked. you, man. I'm taking I, them all down. I mean, easy. 
Easy. If it if it weren't for my conscience, I think I couldn't handle <clears throat> obviously actually doing it. But like hypothetically, I could wreck a hundred five year olds. Oh, I'd turn my brain off. I'd see red. <laughs> you would just see red. I think that'd no, be No, it's this has been a surprisingly oh, easy. Like Oh yeah. You could cut through them easy, like butter, man. It it, it baffles me because this has been a, a large debate at work for like the better part of like two months who thinks they can't like and take there's out people who are like i can take down 20 before i'm out of breath and can't do it anymore what like, what you crazy you pick them up by the ankle and you start swinging them around yeah there's so many moves i mean <laughs> yeah this is this is where you just go nuts it doesn't take a lot to take out a five-year-old i'm thinking one kick one good punch <laughs> easy Dude, one kick for five of them. <laughs> I mean, throw it, right? I mean, come on. You just, I mean, That's there's like a sea of them. You pick one up, you throw it into the group. I, I'm with you. They're top heavy. They're so like this was my things. strategy. This was my strategy. Because <clears throat> they're like, they're all surrounding you, right? Oh, yeah. Like you're in the center. They're surrounding you. Oh, they're no. running at you at this point. That's the best thing you got to do, you, you train them like you do in like, cod zombies that's true and then you back yourself up onto a wall and you take them down and you start building up a wall of kids <laughs> <laughs> and then and then at that point it gets easier because they have to funnel through one at a time it's 300 it's 300 <laughs> except it's 100 <laughs> yeah yeah it's uh, also be- book of mormon that happens in the book of mormon too <laughs> literally the bodies pile up so much they have they have a hard time getting through so history sound strategies here <laughs> yeah it validates this yeah we're in the clear wow i would never do this but if i had to i would <laughs> <laughs> if i had to i would if, uh, how about this i would there are a hundred five-year-old sized humans <laughs> no because then they don't get the right proportions it's gotta be big oh no <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, back up. For some reason, it's better to kill five year olds than midgets. Whatever. Oh my god. I think, uh, how about this? This will make it easier on everyone's brain. Like everyone's in their conscience and their it's struggling morality. So <laughs> you have to take out these 100 kids to save 500 infants. Only five, man. I mean, yeah. But, like, that's rough because then we get into, like, is it right to do, like, is it ever right to kill a child? <laughs> like, that's pretty rough. Dude. I don't know. You don't do it. 500 go. So One thing. of them could be the president. <laughs> they could s- solve Now it's right. <laughs> I killed those kids because another kid was going to be president someday. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. Well, that's the yeah. trolley problem. Look at us. Yeah, exactly. Practicing the trolley problem over here. Mm-hmm. Another observation, though. Yeah. <laughs> Every year those kids get older, it gets exponentially more difficult. Mm-hmm. I could take down 105-year-olds. I could take down 106-year-olds. Could I take down 107-year-olds? I, def- I, pr- I definitely couldn't do 110-year-olds. I mean, no. they're just... It's too much. Couldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah, they're so fast at that point. Faster than me. They're so a lot smarter. Energy. That's true. Start jumping at you. Like, they'll be... A- well, the five-year-olds can jump at you, but... <laughs> <laughs> like the gorgeous. ten-year-olds can jump and grab my neck at any point. They're going to start going for your nads? Like, it's a, it's dangerous. It's terrible. So, yeah, weird. It's exponential danger with the age of the, yeah. the hundred children you're fighting. <laughs> Plus... Plus the hyper intelligence of these five year olds. I mean, we didn't really take them into account, but they're so. There's no way they could. They don't have time to take it into account with me. <laughs> they couldn't. You can't beat me. Don't they don't send your five year olds to fight us. There's <laughs> no way they'll succeed. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, that was something I wanted to ask, and I'm glad you agree that they're all going down. So easy. I don't. I don't know who can. Easy. Like. What do people think of the... They, they think so little of themselves that they they couldn't yeah. physically destroy five, 105-year-olds. I mean, come on. 
I agree. But that's a little sad, but but that's all I got. I know we're a little short on time, but yeah, we'll do this again. Yeah, these are fun. <laughs> do this again, <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, uh, and oh, yeah. guys, we're grateful that you guys are working with the uh, the new schedule, the bi weekly thing. Not that you have a choice, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we are grateful that you're still listening to us. That's what really that's what we're really grateful for. We're so happy that we have our our great Patreon listeners. We talked about before with Emmett, Cody, and John. We're so grateful to you guys. Uh, and send in some would you rather's, man. Sometimes it's hard. You know, we ask you to write about a certain topic and you don't know a whole lot about it. You haven't played the game. You haven't watched the movie. But with these, these are eternal. These aren't going anywhere. So write in your would you rather's when you have one. Uh, we'd love Please. to talk about it and, uh, you know, maybe talk about more heinous hypothetical murders. I don't know. We shall see. Maybe not. I would love that. Chris would love that. <laughs> Just seeing red all the time. But Chris, thank you. This was beautiful. Loved uh mm-hmm. loved your would you rathers. I'm glad you dug thank into you. my soul a little bit there. That was good. We saved yeah. the president in five, you know, fifty years time. So That's right. I'm proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Love you. Bye. Show who's Bye-bye. back in. I'd like to think I'm a pretty light guy. Turn off the computer now. Get down, boy. These jaguars on crystal meth? (laughs) Yay! What? There's something (laughs) wrong.